I'm hiding because I don't want to be associated with these videos I'm putting up here because I don't think they're any good. Chances are you are watching this in 2017 because no one's watching it now but it might be that in a few years time I'm a bit better at this and people are willing to spend time staring at this mug talking and have liked my videos so much they go back through my old stuff. So if that's you, hi, it is indeed me. <laughs> Ironically enough, this is the second time I've made this video because the first time I, I couldn't stand it. And that's ironic because I'm about to tell you about how even when I make videos I don't like, I'm determined to put them on YouTube. And I made a video I didn't like about that and I didn't put it on YouTube. <laughs> and I'm trying again. Um, essentially, what I said in that video was this. I get encouraged by looking at the old videos of YouTubers that I watch and listening to the old music of musicians that I listen to and old movies by filmmakers that I love, etc, etc. And so, I know that if I ever get to the point where I'm actually making decent videos, people will want to look back through my old stuff and see that I've improved and realise that they can improve too. When I go to someone's YouTube channel and I go to their old videos and they've deleted stuff or privatised stuff, I get annoyed. It, oh, like you put it out there and purely because you cringed, you took it off. And I just feel like that's a little bit selfish. So that's something that right now I am promising I will never do. If I ever privatise a video, it will be for better reason than just it makes me cringe. Over and out. Couldn't find my pocket there.